Hello guys, this is Selcha and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you my grandma's garden. My grandma loves flowers and trees uh, and also plants. So basically whenever we go to others house, she keeps on looking into the garden of other people and she, if she loves the flowers, she do go and ask and she has collected a lot of flowers, plants and she has planted a lot of trees here which has grown and as you can see this is her whole garden and I am going to take you through her garden but I am not going to show close up of every flower only a couple of them because there is a lot of them and I have only taken one side of it and she has got on the other side also which I have not taken so yeah let's begin um, I have seen roses, orchid and anthurium in the garden which I can identify and I would say that it's very beautiful when you come in the flowering season because everything is just bloomed and you just go to enjoy it and it's very peaceful to sit outside and drink a tea and other than this I would say that most of the flowers have not been bloomed when I have recorded this video a couple of them have which I have taken a close up others are just not it's not the season to bloom so um, it depends on the season right so I won't be able to include that on the video but uh, whichever flower has been bloomed when I record it is right inside here this used to be her hobby when she used to work but when she retired I think she has taken this as a full-time hobby and it's kind of very she's very professional with things and she loves almost all of the flowers uh, and the plants so whenever you ask any question uh, you get the right answer about the breeding and um, what type of flower is it and she has a craze for orchid so whenever uh, we find orchid we do uh, buy it for her or you, if we see it in others house we just ask them can we take it so that we can give it to the uh, our grandmother so usually we have we have got a lot of them so right now it's clustered with a lot of orchids and anthurium uh, and also roses so one of my hobby is whenever i come to my native place uh, whenever these roses uh, you know when they with i just go down and i just collect it from the soil uh, because when it is bloomed she never allows me to touch it because it's like the children to her uh, so I go and collect them and I used to put it in a water and I used to boil it and keep it for my skincare and she'll be like oh you're using my petals <laughs> so yeah you can use it in other ways also so yeah so this is a hard work I should say because she has put a lot of love and hard work into this a lot of patience because most of the time I have seen her bringing a lot of flowers and it's dead in one week so almost all of the flowers don't grow as you wish and some flowers don't like you know the weather it's it don't get adapted to the soil or the weather so I have seen them dead in one week and she'll be very sad but um, and also I think the flowers really do know what we think and they can catch the energy so it keeps on growing if you keep on talking and then she do talk to the flowers so I have seen that but other than that I would say it keeps on growing if you give it a lot of love and she has a timing for it to water so she water it in the evening every day and if it's a rainy day I think she just leave it but most of the uh, most of the evening she do uh, do it I don't say twice a day but every evening she keep on watering it and she never miss it because if you miss it some plants get affected and they don't grow they will show its after effects afterwards so you have to be really careful about it and also you have to give a lot of manure to it uh, it depends on each plant I think orchid has, it has everything about orchid is very different from what I have seen but other than that most of the other plants um, it's the regular manure which we give so if you're going to put it it's going to grow and I think cow dung works really well because I have seen her using it a tip for sure other than that I think few of the trees which you see here like we got chiku and coconut obviously so most of this has been planted by our ancestors and my grandfather so yeah but plants are basically done by her but some few of the trees are done by her ancestors plus uh, my grandfather 
so this is just a full view of the garden now I, uh, which I have already told it's it's just half view because I have not taken the other side and now I want to take you into close up of each flower I'm going to explain about it whichever I knew about so this is Egyptian star cluster and the scientific name is written on the screen and this is native to Africa so basically just a scene in Africa and yeah that's the thing I know about this and it's very beautiful when it blooms so I will be putting the scientific name on the screen and I'll be speaking about its origin and name so basically this is known as painter's palette and this is this belong to anthurium as everyone can identify it this is also known as flamingo flower and this is native to mexico argentina and caribbean this is nugina patients and i'll write it on the screen and this is a bit pink in color and it's got a beautiful petal which does look like thorns on the end but it don't really harm you it's harmless when you touch it and it's beautiful this is white rose i'm not sure if its name is white rose i just called it because look white in color uh, but it is rose for sure and most importantly it has got a pink tone to it and the pink tone just keeps on fading as it grows up and when it's blooming it has got that pinkish white tone which is very beautiful to watch a very peaceful though you can remember if when you watch this rose this is just pink rose the normal pink rose which you see it used to have a lot of petals but as it grown up it just lost all of its petals now there are only few of them left this one is known as white lady and this is native to india southern asia australia and florida i don't know if any other countries but then for sure these countries and now i can see why it has got white lady name because it's so beautiful and peaceful to watch this one is orchid and uh, this is known as moth orchid it is native to India, Taiwan and China so this is an Asian one but then you can see it in different colors as you can see this is a violet in color but you can see white and I think purple also this one is not a flowering plant as you can see it does don't have flowers but this is known as Chinese evergreen and it has got beautiful white leaf which has got white designs on it I don't know the name of this one but it is very beautiful to watch especially when it grows out of the pot and most importantly she has got like two or three pieces of this which you can keep as a decoration and I've seen it um, I think couple of houses also but I don't know the name of this but yeah I thought I should not exclude it just because it don't have a name I mean do have I don't because just because I don't know the name Alaska Periwinkle, also known as Grapeyard Plant and Bright Eyes in some areas. This is, as the name suggests, this is native to Madagascar. It is an ornamental and medicinal plant. It is used to treat cancer. So, the drugs, you know, the drugs which is given to cure cancer has this um, plant's content in, in it. So, yeah, it's a very important plant in today's era. Uh, wool flower or coxcomb also the scientific name of this the meaning of it is inch i think it is derived from h in greek which is burning so the meaning is burning and this is an edible ornamental plant which is seen in east africa and that means you can eat it 
This one is wafer plant, uh, also known as red flamey bee. This is a prostrate plant with purple color on the leaf. And the leaf blade are a dark green on top face and a lighter green or purplish on lower face. And I don't think this is a blooming plant. I don't have flowers. So this is Sapota. Um, I think you also call it Chiku, um, which is like a common name. But then I think Sapodila is a scientific name and this is native to Caribbean and Mexican and also Central America. This one is yellow in color and I think it is seen everywhere um, like you can even see it near the roadside and it is known as duckweed, little hawkweed and parsley. I think mainly it is known as common purslain. Yeah but it's beautiful, its flower is very beautiful. This is known as Asian pigeon wing, blue pea and darwin pea. In India it is revered as a holy flower used in daily puja rituals. The flower of this vine were imagined to have the shape of human female genitals, hence the Latin name of genus. The species name is thought to derive from the island of Terranate in the Indonesia. Um, this one I read from the Google but I think it's very fascinating and interesting to know. So yeah, I love the shape of the flower actually. This is another type of orchid and I don't know the name of this but it's very beautiful when it flowers and most importantly um, I would say orchids are not planted in the regular way we plant another plants it's a bit different different and you don't plant it in the soil I think one is known as firecracker and this is a species of flowering plant and this is mainly seen in South India and Sri Lanka so this is native of India and most importantly it is seen very often in Kerala. This one is known as Pico Plan um, and also Kitadal Windows and I know why it got the name because it looks so beautiful like a peacock and I think it is native to the eastern Brazil. This one is spider plant and uh, also known as airplane plant. This is seen in South Africa and Australia. This is known as Java Apple Makopa Wax Shampoo and it is native to Andaman Nicobar Island. In Malayalam it is known as Cham Chambakya and I just love this fruit. I mean I love the tree and how beautiful it is and you know whenever it keeps on withering. It has this color which I love. I love to go and wash it. But most importantly I love the taste of it. It has got a sore taste and the fruit is very beautiful to wash. Pinkish. Uh, in color pinkish white and it's very tasty one of my favorite from here onwards the things which you are seeing is orchids which is very beautiful to watch and I am trying to capture a flower in between which is violetish you know bluish in color this one and yeah I don't know the name of it I'm so sorry a lot of orchid which I don't know I only can identify the flower when it bloom so yeah but it's very beautiful when it blew and it's all orchid and uh, this one in the upper part has a yellow flower in it as you can see it's also orchid and it's very beautiful and i'm trying to actually zoom it in so yeah this one it's also very beautiful to wash so that said this is the swing which we have in our garden which is very beautiful the video is uh, done and i hope you all enjoyed the video and thank you for thank you so much for watching uh, something i would like to say is that um i have asked my grandma about the names and i did google a lot of them uh, and i used a google lens to literally take the name and other things of the flower so google lens really helped me <laughs> with this thing so yeah that's how i got information uh, and yeah again thank you so much for watching bye bye tata see you see you in the next video